Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, today being, what is it? It's October 18th, 2020. Uh, there was a cruise news incident that happened today that's worth pointing out. Uh, really sad. I'm trying to see in the background on the ship it was. It's a weird ship name. The... I can't even say the cruise name. Main ship. M-E-I-N. Capital S-C-H-I-F-F-6. -F they did have a man fall off of the balcony. I believe they're guesstimating right now it was five or six floors he fell and hit one of the tender boats on the side of the ship. I don't know how many people have been on a, a ship. Some of the newer ships seem to be a little different. We've had balconies that uh, go straight to the ground and you see nothing but water under you. Made great for the uh, pilot boat exchange, made a great video for that. Uh, but a lot of the ships, the last one we were on was the same way. Our balcony cabin was actually set back so that down beneath us, there was a deck below us. There was actually hot tubs and people in the hot tubs you could see below us. Uh, this ship, I'm thinking, is kind of that same way. The balconies are set back. It said the man fell uh, from the top of the ship. He was in his, it was his balcony cabin and fell onto one of the tender boats. So if you're not familiar with them the boats hang out kind of over the side so I'm guessing this is one of them that had the cabins that were recessed back just a little bit so directly off of your balcony would be a drop down to the either lifeboats or tender boats underneath you uh, it said in the story that the man did fall to his death they did get uh, authorities involved they did get on the boat they did do an investigation the boat was kept overnight and then sent forward on its way. Don't know what was going on yet. Uh, still early in the investigation, but uh, just wanted to let you know, man, please don't do selfies on the balconies. Uh, this seems to be an ongoing issue with cruise people that, and I don't know what happened, but I'm just saying the balconies are not, you know, I'm 6'1". The balconies are not horribly high. I mean, I think you could go over it if you were my height or taller and it wouldn't be that terribly hard to do. So you can just imagine if you're getting on the chair and getting on the balcony to try to do selfies, which is very, very tempting. I have to admit from having just been on a balcony cruise, uh, a room cruise, not uh, more than a couple weeks ago, it is very tempting to get that perfect shot of you and nothing but the ocean to get up high. I don't know that that's what happened in this case, but I have heard several people talking about trying to take selfies and you're hearing, it seems like more and more, at least on a regular basis, people falling off of these balconies. I, I would venture to say in most cases, it seems like alcohol or something is at work here, uh, but it seems to be trying to get the perfect selfie or uh, more so than, you know, mysterious situations of man throws wife overboard or anything like that. It seems to generally be an accident or somebody trying to take their own life. So, again, sad story rolling out here this afternoon on uh, October 18th. It is currently about 4.05. This story was breaking this morning, so I'm a little late on it myself. But just wanted to uh, post an update. Uh, on the sad news today with the man falling from his death on that ship. It's, uh, man, nothing ruins a, uh, a cruise more than something like that. We just got off the cruise we were on with some people that, actually the, uh, the girl that fell overboard a few years ago on a carnival cruise, I think 2017, uh, was on the ship that they were on and they said it just really brought the whole mood down for that time while they were you know, wanting everybody to check cabins and make sure that they just didn't miss something or she really went overboard. So 
anyway, just guys, just be safe. Be safe. Be careful. Uh, cruising is a lot of fun, but there is still dangers at sea. And if you go overboard and hit that ocean and nobody knows about it for a while, we're not going to find it. We, we, I say we're. They're not going to find you. If that ship takes off and leaves you out there, you're not going to be found. You're going to probably end up being fish food or drowned before you are fish food, hopefully. If that's the case, I'd hate somebody get eaten alive by shark or something out there. But just be careful. I mean, cruising is fun, but, you know, just be careful. It's, it can be dangerous. And the last thing I would want to see or most people want to see is a, a great experience that's turning into a nightmare. So anyway, stay safe out there. and Let's hope this story uh, is the last one. Whoa, boy.